Okay guys, hopefully we don't get rained out here. Today we're talking about the ultimate fire starting kit. And I know this is going to be contentious, so let's jump into it. Okay guys, so when I made this kit, uh, like I said, I know it's going to be a little bit contentious because some people are going to be like, oh that's not ultimate. And I know that admittedly people are going to mention things that I've totally forgotten, so I'm very much looking forward to hearing everyone's suggestions in the comments. But let's talk about it. So first, before we get into the actual kit, I actually flagged this uh, Pelican case off with orange duct tape and that serves as two points one of course if this is a survival piece of equipment having that blaze orange will allow you to find this if it's dropped or lost or you know if it's in somewhere kind of concealed that blaze orange is going to help you find it but of course this duct tape serves another function and that is that you can take strips of it off and burn it pretty readily and this stuff does burn very well. So I have some blaze orange on the outside. Of course, this is a Pelican 1010, and that is a waterproof case. It works pretty well for this uh, example. The other reason I like the 1010 is that, as you can see, I have about a medium-sized hand, so it's by no means very large, but it you know, berries basically, or my whole hand can basically cover this 1010, so it's not particularly large. Anyways, let's talk about the core insides of this. So with this kit, I tried to balance this fire kit between having a good amount of tinders and a good amount of fire starters. So I didn't want merely just all tinders or all fire starters, even though I would probably lean towards more fire starters and less tinders if I was to, you know, truly have my way with a fire kit. But I tried to be pretty reasonable with this. So the first kind of component here or components is a bag or a small little package of gauze and with that gauze is a bit of chapstick and essentially the idea here is that you take the chapstick you can rub it into the gauze and you can make a kind of Vaseline cotton ball kind of uh, solution that will extend the life of your gauze when you're trying to burn it for fire starting. The next one here is um, is tarred bank line. So this stuff kind of burns, but ultimately it was just to have a little bit of cordage in case you need it. But you can also start this stuff on fire and it will work okay. It's not the best, but it's not the worst. <laughs> so and digging into it a little bit more, this is just a piece of flint or actually I believe chert. And this I wanted in here just in case you know you can strike this off the back of a knife you can strike this off of you know many different hardened materials and get sparks pretty reliably they're not going to be the best or hottest or ama most amazing sparks but once again working with things like charred uh, cotton or charred cloth like this you can make char cloth and you know start fires with this piece of flint shirt so that is the kind of first fire starter here. Now, rolling over to some more tinders. Of course, I have some Tinder Quick. This is one of my favorite fire starters, so I obviously would have to have at least a few around. And so, Tinder Quick is definitely there. These things are very effective, and they're essentially a commercial version of Vaseline soaked cotton balls. Next to that, I have a vial of magnesium shavings, and this stuff is just super small. It fits in anywhere, and of course, this is more than one fire. You'd probably pour out about half of this if you really wanted to uh, actually start a fire, but... Um, <laughs> You know, this is just a really easy way, and what I love about magnesium is unlike other fire starters here, magnesium is going to burn regardless to whether it's pouring rain or absolutely dry. This stuff just burns, and it burns incredibly hot. So, so if you take some of this and then you pour it out on even a questionable fire starting material, like maybe some of this cotton's a little bit damp, you take some of this, you pour it out on there, it's going to burn and burn. So that's what I like about it, and that's why I have it included. 
Next to that is that I have a couple UST wet fires, and I have a couple of these. These are actually pretty darn good, and you can break these up into segments and get quite a few fires out of one UST wet fire block. So these are definitely multi-purpose and wet fire, similar to the magnesium shavings will burn even when it's wet as the name kind of implies uh, this stuff is just super hardy really great fire starter it is next to tinder quick one of my favorite top tier uh, kind of man-made or artificial fire starters so next to that getting back to actual things that start fires um, i have a bunch of waterproof safety matches with of course their striker right there and i have them in a plastic bag even though they are waterproof i do this partly for containment and partly for extra waterproofing just to make sure that they stay dry because these might be dry but the striker probably actually is not waterproof so yeah that is something to keep in mind, and you definitely want to keep these dry regardless to whether they're waterproof or not. Then lastly is a good old ferro rod. So this is of course a Light My Fire Army, and the Light My Fire Army is a very trusty, very handy, very good ferro rod. Uh, as a just rule, this is a good ferro rod, but... But in addition to this being a good ferro rod, a ferro rod is another solid piece, and you've and, you know, ferro rods are my go-to fire starter. They work in just about any condition. Once again, whether they're wet, dry, whether it's cold or warm, a ferro rod is going to be very weatherproof and very durable. So that's why I like the good old trusty ferrocerium rod. Now, next to that, and kind of tucked away, not sure anyone even saw this little guy, is a small razor blade that you just get from any kind of generic box cutter or you can buy these you know in the hundreds so the reason why i have one of these is the fact that one you can use it to strike the ferro rod that is true but also you can use this to process tinder i've mentioned in the past the importance of especially with a lot of these fire starters maybe not quite the matches but many of these fire starters work best with processed tinders so whether that means sectioning up your wet fire or whether that means you know scraping a piece of birch bark so that it will light on fire just having a small razor blade to do that is a very simple solution and once again this thing takes up quite literally no space in fact i actually kind of look at it now probably should have thrown like three or four of these in here just because they take up no space and the amount of use that one of these has is very high so there's a whole bunch of these little box cutter you know blades super useful heavily recommend you know, throwing at least one to five of these things in any kind of fire kit because they can help you in many different ways. So that is the fire kit. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. As always, God bless and I'm out.